I like I like this football team. I like um, being around them at practice. Um, I think some of it has to do with these guys being an older veteran group with 21 starters back and 19 seniors. That these guys um, have really developed a chemistry, and I don't think that we've had that um, to this point. It's kind of been a, an offensive group and a defensive group, and I think some of that's come with with our success offensively and not so much defensively in the past. But I think these guys have really bridge that gap and gel together. So I, I like that chemistry. I think we got a chance to have a have a special season and be pretty good. So I think that's exciting. Um, I think they have a lot of urgency for an older group that's 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 uh, kind of been through the ringers and we got a lot of guys that start over 30 games and they're still come with that same urgency at practice to get uh, just to get better. And so I think that's always an encouraging sign. I think already as each practice goes on, you can see a lot of growth on both sides of the ball. I think um, there's high expectations for us from from everybody, but mostly from ourselves. I think we got a really high standard for ourselves with a lot of seniors and a lot of experience. So this is a big year for us, and uh, I'm really excited for it. I've also been surprised with our, our older kids, and they've really taken um, a leadership role and that they're really engaged in trying to make the people around them better. It seems like they really have an idea of leaving a legacy behind. It's not just necessarily how many football games do they win, but what are they doing to help prep these young guys. And so I think um, I think those things have been exciting. I think they've been encouraging. I think um, it's been fun to be around those those type of players and those type of people that they are on and off the field. So. Uh, well, when I was first here, we were all freshmen, and we were really young and inexperienced, and now we're all seniors, so we kind of know the ins and outs of the games, and we're helping all the freshmen now, we're teaching them what we know, so hopefully we can keep the tradition going, you know, and all the talent we have. Steve, <clears throat> since you've been here, there's been a timeline to gradually improve this program. Where do you think you are on that timeline? And are you on pace, do you feel? Yeah, absolutely. I think, uh, you know, the plan that we set out when we kind of got this program uh, from the get-go when we were put in charge of it uh, is taking shape how we wanted it to. I think our alumni have re-engaged uh, with our program, which has led to the increase in scholarships. Uh, we'll be at 24 this year with, with hopes and plans, and I think we're on pace to be at 28 uh, next year, which puts us, you know, at the league maximum. And so I think that point is right on, on target. Uh, you look at the facility upgrades with our with our new field this year. That certainly was beyond the plan and exciting kind of bonus to that. Um, but we've we've added coaches. We've been able to retain coaches by increasing kind of some staff salaries, which allows us to keep our continuity in recruiting, which is really the name of the game to keep building the depth on our team. And so I think our plan is is coming together nicely. It's where we should be. I think the one thing that everybody's got to keep in mind is. Even though we're at 24 scholarships, it's still a young 24. You know, we've got a big class, but the, we've got a lot of a lot of scholarship guys that redshirted last year or that just got here and are redshirting. And so it's still a young um, kind of 24. It's a young um, program a little bit that's got to keep developing. It's where we need to be, and I think we just stay on the cycle. We'll, we'll mature right into it and stay on the pace.